So now about the carbon and its compound in this lecture. In the previous session, we are going to see about the nomenclature of carbon compound. In the last slide, we learnt about the functional groups and also about the homula group series. And functional groups are there; they are very much important. Like of here, as we saw about the halogens are there. And it is there that is the chloro, bromo, and iodo. That is chlorine, bromine, iodine. That is the uh, here when they are substituting for the hydrogen atom. That is called as the halogens of that are chloro, bromo, or C, C, N, B, R, or R. When it is substituting instead of a hydrogen atom, that are called as the halogens. These are the functional groups are there. About the oxygen are there. In that oxygen, as we saw, class of compounds. In the we saw about the alcohol. Aldehydes, ketones, carboxylic acid groups are there. These groups are substituting in the hydrogen atom sir. instead of the here hydrogen atom. About that we saw here that carbon is not here. Functional groups are there. About that we learned. So the hydrogens are there. Group containing the where uh, these confer the specific properties regardless of the length and nature of the carbon. So and also here we learned about the homologous series. The compound of the series are there. Here, yeah, chemical properties are all very similar. Are there the chemical properties are there? They are different. Hence, the series of compound in which uh, same functional group uh, substitutes so that happens here. Uh, yeah. Like we saw about the methanol, methanol propanol, like the CH three OH, C two H five OH, C three H seven OH, C four H uh, nine OH. So these are there. Here. Yeah, so Of uh, alcohol is there instead of hydrogen atom. And these are the functional groups are there in one series. It substitute for the hydrogen in a carbon chain, and that are for the which has the chemical properties are similar one. But we are observing in the physical properties there is a variation. Variation are there in the physical properties. Also, we learnt about the in the homologous series how they are present means uh, they are it is a different. Like a methanol and a ethanol. When we are comparing, they are different by the CH2 uh, unit. So in every compound of the homologous the series, there is a CH2 difference there. And if we are taking the molecular mass differentiation, molecular masses are differentiating the because CH2 carbon atom has a twelve number of a uh, here atomic mass is there, and the carbon atom is only one, and H2 hydrogen is one atomic mass. So molecular mass is there, fourteen atomic. Everywhere by the fourteen atomic mass unit for the every homologous series of that group. So next we saw about the, that is about the alkene, about the alkene and alkyne also. So alkenes are there as I told. There is a formula for the alkene C N H two N plus two. Next up here alkene is there C N H two N is there and alkyne C N H two N minus two. This is formula for the alkene, alkene and alkyne. So alkene starts with a here. N N is nothing but number of a here like a carbon atom. Like a one is there a carbon atom and N is present. You should write there. Here we have formula. We have a if you are writing in the carbon one in the two N plus two means so is there also should write one. It is for the alkene. For alkene and alkyne it starts from the two, three, four. And like this carbon atom is there. It will start from the two, three and Four alkenes. So you should write there. I am very learned about that. Here, alkene and alkyne formula groups and how there is the formation of a ethene, 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 propane, propene, propyne. So like this, like a butane, butane, butane. So like this, we saw the different number of carbon compounds and their homologous series are there. You should try it in your home for the alkene, all alkenes, alkenes and alkynes and. You should write that one in your book. This you are going to understand. All are have a in a homologous series. They have chemical properties are same, but variation in the uh, variations we are observing in the physical property. This is because of the melting and boiling point in the liquid with increasing in a molecular mass. Every homologous series, every like a methanol is there, ethanol is there. In that CH2 difference, molecular mass is increasing. The, that time melting and boiling point that time it is going on. So physical property like solubility, that also we are observing gradation. So chemical property property which are determined solely by the functional group, but uh, remains similar here. Here 
is a homologous stabilizer. So they are chemical properties are similar ones. So now we are going to see. So yesterday in that last session we still a uh, homologous series we learned. Now in this session we are learning about the nomenclature of the carbon compounds, naming of the carbon compounds. So as we saw, there is a carbon chain, ring and branches are there. There are number of carbon atoms. One is there in the sometimes of the some, uh, some of the carbon compounds. In some carbon compounds there are the two, three. So branches are there, rings are there, carbon compounds. So in that, how to we use the naming of the carbon compound will be very much necessary. So naming of the carbon compound in homologous series is based on a basic carbon chain that is modified prefix and suffix we are using. When homologous series are there, here, which are the functional groups are there, they are here in the table or in yesterday we saw the functional groups in that table you should learn by heart that one and which is using as a prefix or suffix that also you should hear by heart. So some are there we are using as a suffix, some are there in all other series here our functional groups we are using, using there as a prefix. So prefix phrase and before that that is the suffix. Suffix means uh, we are using it here. So the chain is modified by the prefix and suffix. So prefix means uh, before we are when applying the name or chloro is there. Chloro we are writing first uh, which it is a prefix. Uh, and alcohol when we are writing uh, in that last one we will add uh, that uh, any uh, carbon compound or carbon chain that time or in that of the series uh, of the naming of carbon compound that time it is used as a suffix. Suffix means lastly we are adding prefix means uh, in the first we are going to take. Uh. So for example the name of the alcohol here taken it as a here C 4.2 and given ethanol, ethanol, propanol and butanol. So we saw the table 4.2 in that uh, we are observing that they are the methanol, propanol, butanol are there. So these all names are there. If we are observing, uh, they are in as a suffix. So methanol, methanol is there. Then alcohol we are as you know methanol CH3OH. CH3 So, in the naming of the carbon compound, 
answer. First one, naming of carbon compound can be done by the methods. Like the first of all, identify the number of carbon compounds. If any carbon chain in your writing or structure of a carbon is there, that one you should identify that. So if here, like this it is there. So identify how many carbon compounds are here. Carbon atoms are present. Identify the number of carbon atoms in the compound. This is the one of the carbon compound is there. In that compound, how many number of carbon atoms are there? Two are there. So C2 means the saturated it is there. Single bonds are present. That is the saturated carbon compound. And it is a methane means a only one carbon compound. Methane means a two are there. Now it is a methane. So after that, this is the first one. Whenever any of the carbon compound is there, first identify number of the carbon carbon compounds and the sphere carbon atom in the in a compound. Carbon atom so much present in the compound that you should identify. If there are how many carbon atoms are there in this compound? This is the whole carbon compound is there. In that carbon compound, two carbon atoms are there. So by that term, yes, we are identifying that is the here. Two means are it is a ethane. It is a saturated one because a single bond is there. We get with the carbon compound. In case of functional group, either prefix or suffix. Now as I told, if alcohol is there, if we are going to write the alcohol. Now hydrogen is there. We are alcohol substitute for the hydrogen. Or hydrogen is there replaced by the alcohol. Now how many before that? Add the item 
here is a single bond in present nitrogen carbon atom means propane it is there. Three carbon compound means propane. Two means ethane. One means methane. Methane, pro, uh, ethane, propane. Four means butane. Five means pentane. Six means hexane. So that that time we should observe also single bond, double bond here is a saturated double bond bond. Single bonds are present here. So alkenes are there. All halo alkenes are there in that. You should these halo alkenes are there here. Functional groups are and the prefix we are using. Prefix means a before the naming is there which we are using the substitution of that halo alkenes. Whenever it is there, it is always used as a prefix. So prefix means you should use that one before only before the naming or uh, name of that compound name whatever it is there. Before that you should use. You see if it is a propane. Before that propane you should write there. See here here it's a chloro propane. You should write there like this. You should use as a prefix. So that is the prefix. So if they are halo alkenes, if chlorine is there, chloro propane. If bromine is there, bromo propane. So here there are the three carbon atoms, single bond, saturated carbon atom is there, and that we are observing here is the Chlorine. Now, chlorine is there. Substitution for the hydrogen and uh, now yes, uh, here chlorine, which is substitution for hydrogen, it is replaced by the chlorine. And here three carbon atoms means propane is there. So first of all, you should write there propane and uh, prefix. Always uh, the hello alkenes, hello alkenes. You should write uh, as a prefix. Prefix means uh, before that uh, here. Of that carbon compound from it which is there in that before this carbon compound you should write the name of that halogen. So here that is the here chlorine is there and so you should write here chloropropane. If bromine is there, write there bromopropane. So like this, if a, here two carbon compounds are there, it is an ethane. So write chloroethane. If a, uh, another type of uh, ethane is there, but the bromine is there, bromo ethane. Like this, prefix you should use. So this is about the in case of a functional group, I will use some suffix. Third one is suffix A E I O. Suffix means lastly. Where there is a A E I O E is there. So here, if the name of the functional group is to be given as a suffix, so functional group is given as a Suffix add the suffix of the functional group of a O L A E I O U is there. So begins with O O L. Then the name of the carbon is modified by deleting that. So if suffix is there, then the if propane is there. So E is there. A E I O U in that. If any one it is there in that O L A E I O U O L is there. Like a propane P R O P A N E E is there. O L Last. So, deleting that E and add a here propane. E is there that we should delete and add there here O and E. So, ketone group when it is a present and in that you should write a propanol. This E is there here we use it as a suffix where E is there is a replaced by here O and E. So, that is the propanol. So, this is the one of the example where when suffix we are adding and we saw suffix is there, we are adding here also when there is an alcohol is there, so panel is there. But here when there is a ketone group is a present and in that when there is the suffix A, E, I, O, U is there, deleting that E and add a propanol. So, here O, E, E is there. If you are going to observe suffix ketone group, in that 
there is E is replaced by O and E and that is a propanol. We see first of all carbon compounds are uh, uh, here. Count them. We are there saturated it there. In between carbon atoms, single bond is there saturated carbon upon the propane which is there. But uh, there is a ketone group is there. Ketone group means a C double O that is a ketone group. So because of that E is there it is replaced by O and E and we should write there propanol. So next one is there. Now up to here we saw about the saturated. Now if there is an unsaturated one, if there is an unsaturated carbon compounds are there, A and E substitute by the E and E and Y. First of all, see if alkene, alkene, alkene. Alkene means A and E. Alkene means E and E. Alkene means Y and E. So in that all alkenes, we can uh, here. Here, 
the alkyl, alkyl and alkynes. A, E and Y vertices are there. A and E, E and E, Y and E. That is very much important. Saturated when it is there, having single bonds, then here carbon compound, then it is a A and E. Unsaturated with a double bond, carbon compound, then it is a E and E. And when unsaturated, here double bonds are there, then it is a E and E. Unsaturated triple bond, carbon compounds are there, this it is a Y and E. So you should find uh, here it is very much necessary by naming of the carbon compounds. So this, these are the carbon compound nomenclature of uh, different organic compounds are there regular in the in the table 4.4. You should observe that one, learn by heart that one and practice it again and again. So how do you name it? Uh, that they take uh, here as the, there is a naming of carbon compound method they gave that is also very much important. Read that one and uh, observe what I told here if you are going to understand. Uh, so they gave up the carboxylic acids as I told about the ketone. How ketone naming is there? E is a replaced A, E, I, O, U, E is a replaced by here O, N, E and so propane is there, propanol you are writing here. If aldehyde group is there, when aldehyde group is there, here it is also not using the first suffix you should use. If whenever aldehyde group is there, so here in the aldehyde group there is a C H O P I using aldehyde means you should keep in your mind that is C H O group is there in the aldehyde group. And whenever aldehyde group is there, you should use as a suffix. So find out the number of carbon compounds, how much it is there. Here there is a one number here. An example here in the table is suffix. AL they are using. So whenever there is an aldehyde group, like here is one example. See here, this is the one of the example in here. So in this example, you are observing that uh, this is the one, two, three. How many carbon compounds are there? So the carbon atoms are there in this compound. Here, three carbon atoms are there. So first of all, you should identify as a protein. But uh, here, this group is called as a aldehyde group. So, in the aldehyde group, when ketone group is there, E is replaced by O and E. Ketone group in the ketone group, always there is a double O, C, double O is there with the joining in the middle. And that is called as a ketone group. When there is the CH, double O like this, it's outside the element joining is there that is called an aldehyde group and in the aldehyde group it is using as a renaming is there suffix we are using and in that suffix when propane is there that E is there this E is here replaced by A here how in the alcohol group it is replaced by O here E is replaced when alcohol OH is there that time that OH is there means uh, it is replaced by OL, but uh, whenever aldehyde group it is replaced by AL. See, one example I have here. Now, when there is a alcohol is there and a propane is there, that time it is writing as a propanol. So, that is the form alcohol when joining is there. When alcohol substitution is there, you see, instead of the hydrogen, the carbon from here, substitution of the which group is there? That is the here aldehyde. So when aldehyde is there, when aldehyde group is substitution is there instead of the hydrogen atom, that time this propane is there. That E is replaced by A L and it is writing as the propanol. And so it is called as a here propanol A L. So you should in the aldehyde identify the group if here, alcohol is there, OL is replaced by OL, E is replaced by OL, but when aldehyde group is there, here in the carbon compound, that time we should replace that one by the AL. So, that is called the aldehyde. So, as I told for the ketone also, when here A, E, I, O, U, E is there replaced by OL, E, and ketone, in the ketone there is a C double O group is there. See, uh, observe the table in the ketone, there is a C double O group in the middle they are joining. Next up, when carboxylic is there, so you should write here, write there O R C suffix. Lastly, you should write there like uh, for the 
behind for the alcohol, how we are using for the suffix at the end of the name, like that we are doing at the end of propaning them with propanoid acid. Whenever carbon carbonic group, C double O H, when group is there, so it is the word aldehyde. Now, when there is a C double O H group is there, joining the upper C double O H, that time this is nothing but that group is called as carbon carbonic acid. And when carbon carbonic acid is present, E is replaced by IC. So OIC instead of D, E you should write. Means that E to propane is there and carbon carbonic acid is there, then E is replaced by OIC. E is replaced here by D O R C and write there again acid also. So here propanoic acid whenever the CWOH group is the present carbonic acid group. So I told functional groups are there, you should find out that functional group, but these are very much necessary. And about the PNE and RNE already I have explained very clear. So this is about the functional group. There is the naming is there. You should read that table you are going to understand it. So first up, saturated carbon compounds, single bonds, unsaturated carbon compounds are there, double bond and triple bond. When saturated carbon compounds like the haloalkanes are there, otherwise uh, there is the alcohol substitution is there, ketone substitution is there, aldehyde substitution, suffix we are using. For the alcohol, like a propanol, OH we are using when alcohol is there. And when aldehyde group is there, AL instead of E, we are replacing E by the OL. When ketone is there, E is replaced by the O-N-E propanol means propane, E is replaced by O-N-E propanol is there. So carbohydrate acid is there, that time you should replace that E by the O-I-C. So propanoic acid. So and alkynes and alkynes when double bonds and triple bonds are present in between the carbon atoms. So here I think I understood very well about the how to name it the carbon compounds. So again you should read the part which you are going to understand, read the table, read the, learn the all functional groups and also about the formula for alkene, alkene and alkynes. So this is about the nomenclature of the carbon compounds. Here, so I think you understood.